What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanics Survival and today we're going to go and do another warehouse run but we're going to do it a little bit differently this time. I've built myself a micro tank. So I did some testing and I found that the tape bots in the warehouse which do like two shots to kill a person don't actually seem to do any damage to tier 3 metal. So I made an entire tank body out of tier 3 metal and of course we can rotate on the spot move forward move backwards we can move our turret a little bit we've got a 30 degree rotation in either direction just for fine adjustment and then of course we can aim it up and down and we can shoot individual spud guns so it's not any crazy turret it's just a single spud gun but i figured this would actually help us because tape bots are all one hit kill and it doesn't really matter so i'm hoping we can just use this tank drive through an entire warehouse because as you'll see this tank is in fact a little bit smaller than the chicken walker here and the chicken walker just barely fit in the warehouse so we're gonna take the big rig we're gonna go find a warehouse uh the tank is really slow but that's okay when it's going through the warehouse it doesn't need to be fast so we're just gonna create a weld point here and weld the front of this guy onto the back of the big rig here this is my of course new and improved big rig a few of you may have noticed i actually switched around from a flat nose cab and the main reason I actually did that is to remove the food dispenser. So the food dispenser is actually on the food trailer. I realized I was carrying around all this extra weight and these pistons and all this extra stuff that you only need when you're delivering food. So it didn't really make sense. So I rebuilt the truck to be like a front engine cab setup and it actually works a lot better because of the longer wheelbase, we get better handling. But anyway, we got all our stuff here. We got our bed in the cab and we're gonna head out look for a warehouse and hopefully find one and try this tank out Alrighty, we made it to a warehouse it's a four-story warehouse we've got our truck here we've got our tank here i'm just gonna leave the truck out on the road um i hope it's okay i mean i don't think it should cause any problems i don't think there's anything close by and if something spawns it shouldn't aggro it so it should be okay and let's just take our tank and head on in hopefully this is actually tall enough uh the head pokes out but I don't think that matters. Okay, I missed. When I did some testing earlier, um, it seems like they aim for the center of your body. There we go. Look at that. Easy as pie. All right. The elevator. Okay, the elevator's right there. All right. There's another crate over there. It's just a regular green crate, though. I'm not too worried about it. There's a lot of tape bots here, though. So let's see if we can just... Come on. Dead. Nice. Come on. Dead. Okay, perfect. Uh, there is no first person in this, but it's not really a big deal. Come on, there we go, nice. And then this guy, nope, 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 nope. Dang it. We definitely waste more spuds than if we did this by hand, but I mean, at least, you know, we're potentially invincible. Let's just actually try that out right now. Let's let this guy shoot at us and see what happens. Come here, bud. Oh, well, uh... Okay, you were supposed to... You were supposed to live. Oh, dang, there's a tape bot. Oh! What a snipe! I can't believe that. Can I get in? Thank you. Alright, see, look. He can shoot at us all day. Doesn't do any damage. Maybe it does, but not quick enough. And then I can just blast him. That's awesome. That's actually awesome. Now, this is a four-floor warehouse, so it's gonna take a while to get done. But, I mean, we should be able to do this no problem if we're invincible. The only thing I'm worried about is the explosive tape bots. I haven't tested how this tank would hold up against an explosive tape bot. And honestly, I don't even know how tier 3 metal holds up against explosives. So, I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't die instantly in one shot. Uh, let's just look for tape bots. No, let's go forward first. Oh, there's one, like, right through here. Come here, bud. Hey, what's up? You're dead. Nice. Come here. You're dead too. Dude, this is this is OP. Oh look, you're shooting at me? That's cute. Alright, I'm not really concerned about searching the entire warehouse. I just want to try and get to the fourth floor and get to the loot room. Last time we went through a warehouse, there wasn't really loot anywhere except in that final room. So I'm really just focused on getting to that final room and getting that top gold loot. The tank is really just, you know, so when this stuff happens, like look at this. Boom. Doesn't even, he didn't even notice. Like, he didn't even care. This is awesome. This is actually the best way to do a warehouse now. Now, the only problem is we're not going to be able to go upstairs and ramps necessarily easily. 
There's a ramp here. We might make it down this without dying. There we go. Yeah, but some of the stairs and stuff, like, we're not gonna be able to go up into these small sections. And, of course, if we get shot from the top down, that's gonna be a problem as well. Um, okay. Little, little side shot there. You're dead. Excellent. Yeah, top-down shots, definitely gonna be a problem. Anything that, you know, hits us from the back and destroys that ammo crate first might be a problem. Let's just blast our way through this. There's a tape bot there. We'll just blast him away. Nice. This is awesome. Whoa! Got bright in here all of a sudden. Okay. Okay, okay. This is a problem. There's a guy up top there. See, he's shooting down. Okay, come down. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Perfect. That was close. Oh. Getting shot in the back. No problem. Anybody else? Is that it? Think about the number of times we would have been dead already just by simply getting these sneak attacks where like a tape bot comes up from behind and you don't even notice them. Like we would have been dead in a couple hits. All right, we've got a bathroom on the right. I'm sure there's nothing important in the bathroom. Uh, let's just look. There's going to be... This looks like just an empty storage room. There's probably something up there maybe. Oh, there's a tape bot up there. Wow, even shooting down, he doesn't seem to hit. Hold on, bud. I can aim up, too. Did you fall? Please tell me you fell down. I'm terrified of them shooting down, but they haven't hit us yet in the tank thing, which is good. Where the heck did he go? Oh, there he is. Come here. No, come here. Hey! Nice. Get wrecked. Oh! You're dead. You're dead too. This is awesome. This is actually the coolest way to do a warehouse. I mean, it's a little bit more consuming of spuds. Let's put it that way. You do suck back a few more spuds than you normally do. You do have to carry a bunch more, mainly because it's a little harder to aim a mounted turret than it is to just manually aim your spud gun. But I mean, we're invincible, really. Until an explosive one comes along, I think we're just in a really, really good spot. And, uh course we can get stuck on like a simple tape roll but other than that i mean this is just ridiculous this is so overpowered just a tier three metal brick nice just get wrecked all right there's gotta be more tape bots around here somewhere right no tape bots this way all right elevator here we go perfect so this has to be the way out what's this way is that nothing that's just a hallway just a hallway all right perfect elevator so that's it first floor done Let's head on to the second floor. Let's just rotate the tank around. So, of course, we're aiming in the right direction coming out on the second floor. And, uh, or we'll just get stuck. That's fine. We'll put it on the lift. All right. That was pretty painless. We only used, you know, a, a bunch of spuds. Not too many, actually. Not as many as I thought we would. Definitely not as many as if we were using the, like, full rapid-fire chicken walker. Let's just find that elevator. There's definitely some rooms on floor number one we didn't fully explore. I know that. But, like, the number of chests in a warehouse doesn't seem worth it. I tried figuring out if warehouses respawn or not. I kept going back and checking the first warehouse we've ever been to. And uh, it never seems to have respawned on the inside. So I don't think they do. Now, some people have said you have to kill all the tape bots and then they'll respawn. But I'm pretty sure I've killed all the tape bots in that first warehouse and still haven't found them. So, I mean, I don't know. You're dead. Look at that. It's, this is so easy. This is so much easier. Okay, this is just... That's just a dead-end room. We might have to go up here. Let's just clear that out. That's the office. Okay, well, it was office down here, too. So let's go over this way. And the office probably just loops around. All right. Oh, hello. Come on out. Come on out. You're dead. Come on out. You're dead, too. You're dead, too. Look at that. We would have been dead like 10 times there just from the amount of tape bots spawning. But because we have an actual creation, they don't do any damage, really. And it's just it's so much easier. And look at this. We can probably even make it up these stairs. Oh, yeah. This tank is sick. This is actually the coolest thing. Perfect. Let's just grab this. I'm actually more afraid now of every time I get out of the seat than when I'm in the seat. Because, like, you know, at least in the seat, we know we can't really die. But I'm just terrified that as soon as we get out of the seat, we're going to get killed. Alright, this is a pretty small office space. 
Anything, anything else? Hello. You're dead. It's awesome. Yeah, fully intact still. This is great. All right, we gotta head down this staircase. And we gotta go this way. This is, of course, super sketchy because the tank can't fit down the staircase. And look at that. There's a dude right there. He's, like, underneath the stairs. You little bugger. How am I gonna kill you? Ugh, man. We're gonna have to do this one manually without getting wrecked. There he is. Got him. Okay, perfect. All right, there's a bathroom on the left. I can't imagine anything useful is in the bathroom. Usually they don't lead anywhere. They're just kind of bathrooms. Here's another office space. So I'm assuming this is the direction we have to go. Ow! Okay, back up. Come on out. Come on out. There we go. I can't believe this thing actually can climb stairs. This is awesome. Oh, hello. Wow. Okay, you're dead. I guarantee you, as soon as the explosive guy comes, he's just going to blast us once and just completely take out the entire front of this thing. What are you doing? Oh, boy. We got to go up two flights of stairs. All right. Well, I think we can do this. We might, we might be able to do this. Let's see. Hopefully, there's no tape pots on the top of this. Look at this, though. We're powering through it. Come on. Up the stairs. Don't really care. That's probably just one of those pipe here. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. We're good. He hasn't wrecked anything. I'm actually really surprised he hasn't wrecked the spud gun on the front. Maybe they can't hurt spud guns either. I mean, you'd figure the tier 3 metal is invincible, but I guess maybe they can't hurt any blocks really well? I'm not sure. Like, they do super huge amounts of damage to any sort of player, but maybe they don't do much damage at all to blocks. Which would be really, really nice. But, I mean, if the spud gun got destroyed, that would kind of suck. That would be sort of a big problem. I'm not going to lie, it feels kind of weird driving a tank through a wrecked office. It's like the apocalypse. Although this makes the most sense. Hey, bud. Bud. Come here. Come here. I don't see what the point is in fighting the farm bots on, like, you know, a single man with a spud gun. That just seems silly. We need, you know, armor. We need protection. They have armies of tape bots and armies of little greenies. And now... We have a tank. So, you know, they can just deal with it. Oh, we're stuck. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. We'll get off this. Come on. There we go. Perfect. All right, down the stairs we go. Hopefully it goes downstairs as well as it goes upstairs. Seems like it. Gonna be another tape on one of these side rooms again. Yep. Always is for some reason. Come on, guys. Hey. Really? Are you not... Thank you. Three tape bots. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous how good this is. All right, I think we're getting close to the second elevator now. There's another utility room and another utility room there. Usually when you get to these utility rooms, that's when you get close to the elevator. What does that say? Elevator. Perfect. All right. Any more tape bots to deal with? Let's just do a real quick check down this hallway. Nope. Looks like we're good. All right, let's head out to this elevator and then on to the third floor. All right, office. What's the right? Oh, there's tons of stuff to the right. Uh, let's check the office first, I guess. See what's through here. Are we going to get shot out again? Yeah. Hey, bud. Come here. Come on. Come on out. Oh. Oh, man, a lot of tape bots. Okay, okay, okay. You're dead first. Yep. Let's rotate around. Oh, goodness. Okay, holy cow. They just keep coming. Wow. Wow, how would you deal with this without a tank? Honestly. Like, how would you have dealt with that? I would have been killed so quickly. Would have had to, like, quick shot all of them. And even then, like, ugh, I don't know how you could deal with it. They need to nerf tape bots a little bit. I think they're just too aggressive. The damage they do to a person, it's like 55 damage a shot two shots you're dead you either need some sort of an armor system that can protect you from the tape bots or they need to do less damage in my opinion i feel like they're just too aggressive like right there i don't know how you would have survived that without a tank with the tank i mean obviously we just back up don't get killed but they hit us a bunch and that would have just sucked and they've got like perfect accuracy too they're really really hard to dodge look at this another three of them all shooting at the same time here you're dead Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get out. Don't get out. That was... That almost was very bad. Yeah. Did he finally destroy the spud gun?
It says my button is not connected to anything. He destroyed the piece that holds up the spud gun. Are you serious? That little piece in there, the little T piece and the bearing that's on it. Okay, okay, we can fix this. Um, we can just grab this bearing here. I should have brought extra bearings. But there we go. Let's just grab this bearing. Well, you know what? Let's just remove that piece too. We'll put this down. We'll just patch this with a couple of bearings. And it should be fine. Alright. So, note to self. We should have made that out of tier 3 metal. Like it is now. And that would have been much, much better. Here we go. We'll set these again. These were 30 degrees. And they were actually, if I can get it, 30 degrees. 30 degrees. There we go. One, one, and bearing lock on. Perfect. So now we can rotate, and we can aim up and down. All right, perfect. Yeah, we should have probably made that at a tier three metal to start. That would have made more sense. Um, but either way, we're good now. We'll put another piece of metal here. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. So now our turret should be a little bit more reinforced. That's okay, though. I mean, at least they didn't destroy the spud gun. If they had wrecked the spud gun, we would have had serious problems. Those were just, like, small pipe pieces. And even then, I don't think that was a good idea. It probably should have armored them up. All right, the elevator is actually right here. I just, I didn't realize. We came out of the office right there, and we found the elevator, like, instantly. This is the smallest floor. Maybe there's more to this floor if we had gone, like, in the other direction, and there's more to explore. But, really, that was a really, really small floor. I'm very, very surprised. I'm not too worried. Like I said, there's only, like, these small green chests. I really just want to find that final loot room. Definitely a fourth floor. Okay, so the number of floors outside does make a difference. It actually determines the number of floors in the warehouse. So we just gotta find the loot room now on this floor and then find our way out. So this one we might have to explore a little bit more uh, than the other floors. This is just a closet. Does it go anywhere? Oh, it does. Okay, okay. There's a tape bot there too. All right. Now, this is, of course, the floor with the explosive tape bots, which is very, very, very concerning for me. I feel like we gotta go down this way. Let's just, let's just lift over here, because we can't fit around this thing. This is the only pain with the tank. Sometimes you gotta get on your lift, and when that happens, you're just completely exposed to everything around you. So let's just head on through here. All right, so far, so good. This is where we got shot by a red tape bot last time in the other warehouse. It was like a long hallway and a random tape bot just shot us. Look at this, we're stuck on that piece of tape. Are you serious right now? Come on, you stupid thing. Oh my goodness, this tape. This tape is like the worst. There we go. Oh God. Well, he wrecked the whole tank. He wrecked everything. Yeah. Okay. Well, he just... He just... Yeah. Okay, well, the tank was good. Uh, until we hit the red guy. And then the tank no longer was good. Did he wreck the engines? No. He just wrecked the spud gun on the front. He wrecked one of the wheels. Uh, and he wrecked... Oh, he wrecked all the logic. Because all the logic for the engines was in there. Awesome. Awesome. So now we have this useless hull that we're going to have to drag through the entire freaking map because there's no logic that controls any of the engines anymore. All right, well, we'll just leave this thing here. So we're going to have to come up with a better method for dealing with the red guys. Or we just use this on the everything until we get to the final floor. And then the final floor you have to do by hand until you kill all the red guys. But either way, let's just shut this off. We'll leave this back here. We're going to do the rest of this warehouse on foot. We got enough spuds and stuff, so we should be okay. And then we're going to have to come back with our lift and lift that all the way through to the final elevator when we finally get there. Wow. Instant death. Look at that. Crazy. All right, I've run my way back up. We're back on the fourth floor. We've got our half-wrecked tank here. Oh, he destroyed the ammo box too? Man, that sucks. I wonder, actually, is there only one red bot? Because maybe there's only one red bot, and if there's only one, we could just keep that in mind for next time. Kill the red bot first, and then use the tank for the rest of the floor. I guess we'll find out. We'll just have to do this slowly and carefully. Make sure we don't get wrecked and peek all these corners like you're dead. Anyone else? Okay, this is clearly the way we gotta go, right? Oh! Jeez! 
Holy cow, bud. You came out of nowhere. All right, I think we're close to the end now because we're in that duct section. And I'm not sure if this is the same for every warehouse, but I remember the last time we did a warehouse, there was this weird duct section. And then we got to the very end. And uh, hopefully we can make our way out. Now, this is obviously, this is a part that the tank wouldn't have done anything with. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, here's the way out. Okay, there's a guy there. Oh, he's another red guy. Splendid. All right, so I guess we can confirm. There are more than one red guys that spawn. Okay, nice. Oh god, there's more, there's more shooting. Did he just blow a hole and then fall into it? I think that's legitimately what happened. I think he just blew a hole and then fell into the hole. Hold on, so there's multiple red guys. Okay, so we definitely have to, no matter what, even with a tank, you have to do the fourth floor manually. Can I, can I kill you? There's a red guy down there. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, 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 chill. Did he kill himself? Wow. Dude. You made such a mess. Holy cow, he blew a hole in the floor and then fell into it and then blew himself up in the hole. Alright, let's go get our, our vehicle, bring it through to this section at least. And then uh, we'll get all caught up. Alright, perfect. We got our tank. Slash half tank, slash completely wrecked tank. Now we just need to make our way out. Utility, that's got to be the way towards the elevator. All right, let's do a check here real quick. And then storage, that's got to be the final loot room. And this has got to be the elevator, right? Let's just make sure there's no blue guys down here, no tape bots. Oh man, I can't believe it. I've got to figure out a solution to the explosive guys. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. I'm thinking maybe we put a wall of bathtubs that we push around on the front of the vehicle. But even then, that seems like a stupid idea. And this isn't the way to the elevator. You're dead. Is there... The elevator's further ahead. All right, let's go back and check that storage room. That might be the final loot room. And then we'll make our way out of this godforsaken warehouse. Final room. Orange one. This one has nothing. Yeah, this is supposed to be the decryptor room, I think. All right, and then checking the blue room... Come on, loot. Yeah, four golden loot chests. All right, what do we got? We got an electric engine level three. Okay, a seat three. Okay, gas engine three. Another seat three. That's not bad. A bunch of level threes. Can't complain about that. Soil fertilizer, maybe a little bit of gas. We'll take that. Seeds, and then all the loot crates. Uh, what can we throw out here? That we don't really need. You know what? Let's throw out the chemicals. We can actually, let's throw out the circuits. We got tons of circuits. I'd rather take the garment box. Perfect. So that's all the loot. Now we just need to find our way out. And we'll be good to go. Is that the elevator? Elevator! Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. Did you kill yourself? You killed yourself. That was a good job, bud. Good job. Good job. That was smart, wasn't it? Yeah. Good on you. Red bots, man. They have like... A giant explosion radius. I feel like the explosion radius of that might need to be reduced just a little bit. All right. Elevator time. Up onto the roof. That's when, of course, we find out there's actually a fifth floor to this warehouse we didn't know about. I'm a little disappointed the tank didn't make it all the way to the end. I guess the fourth floor, there's nothing you can really do about it. You honestly can't really use a tank on the fourth floor. You have to go ahead, kill all the red bots first, and then you can use a tank once you've done that. But even then... There was like, what, three or four red bots in that entire floor section? Okay, once the game decides to load the map, there we go, perfect. We finally made it onto the roof now, but unfortunately our tank doesn't drive. Either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. We're just gonna get off the roof and go downstairs, um, back to our truck, and then head back to base, of course, to fix this tank up. Of course, it would be nice if we had a way to deal with the red bots with this tank. Again, if you guys know anything or you have any good ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Um, we're gonna just, we're gonna just get off the roof here. Okay, is this gonna work? I think so. I think it's gonna slowly slide off. There's our truck down there. Come on. Come on. Okay, come on. We're gonna fall if I get out of this seat, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're dead. We're totally dead. We're totally dead. Great. And now our tank's trapped up on the roof. You gotta be kidding me. 
You gotta be- you gotta be kidding me. Well, let's go get our stuff back, at least. I can't believe the tank is trapped on the roof. Stupid freaking tank. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, wonder if we can shoot it with some spuds. Is that enough to knock it down? What if I just... Oh, come on. Yes! 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 Let's go! Oh my goodness, what a solution! Come on, tank! Awesome! I can't believe that worked. All right, well, we're heading back to base. We've got the tank. We've got all the loot from the warehouse. It's uh, rather unfortunate the tank didn't come back in one piece completely, but we can make some minor adjustments and repair it. And of course, if I can figure out how to deal with the red bots, then we can improve this tank completely and make it just super invincible. But either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time. All right, just wall it up. Let's head on home.